Yo, what's up you guys? This is Nathan with Freedom Influencer and this is gonna be an awesome video because we're gonna be talking about five mindsets of highly successful people. And I'm gonna be passionate about what I'm talking about here in this video because if you're someone who's striving to create success in your life, in your business, or in anything, one thing you have to understand is that successful people, they don't think like the average person. And if you disagree with that, I want you to go find anyone who you look look up to who, who has created success and tell me that they think the same way as everyone else. And the reality is that there's certain things that you can do to tweak the way that you think just like successful people do. And I believe that all you have to do is model success and, and learn from people who have already gone ahead of you, all right? And that's exactly what I've done to create some success in my life, and I wanna share some, some strategies with you guys here in this video, and that's really what you have to think about. I actually heard Gary Vaynerchuk say this one time, is that mindset is, is not just you know motivation or the way that we think, but it's actually a strategy and how we're going to create success, okay? So I want you to think about that as we're going through this video and I'm talking to you guys ab about these different mindsets. I want you to think of, of these as strategies on how you're gonna create success in your business or in your life because that's ultimately really what they are is strategies, okay? So I think this is gonna be really good for you guys. I hope that you get a lot of value out of this. Uh, and so I'm just going to talk to you guys, you know, like you're sitting here right in front of me and hanging out with me. I want this to be more conversational in this video today. Uh, so if this is your first time here, this channel is called Freedom Influencer. This is a channel where I, I talk about how to make money, how to generate a passive income. And this is all about entrepreneurship so you guys can succeed and create a life a freedom. So if you want more videos from me, I invite you guys to go down, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so that way you get notified of when I release new videos, all right? So we're going to be going over five different things, you guys, and as I'm talking and as we're going through this video and you have something that pops in your head and you have something to say about this, I want you to go down and leave a comment and become part of this this conversation because I want you guys to be a part of this just as much as I'm talking with you guys right now because I know it may seem weird if you're watching this on YouTube and I'm just some dude here talking and you're just watching a video you have to understand that I'm on the other side of this camera I know that you're on the other side of this and you're a human being we're all humans here trying to create success in our lives so I invite you guys join the conversation I'd love to chat with you guys down there um, and on this video, I will do my absolute best to get down there and engage with you guys in the comments. And I know I say, you know, I'll engage with you guys. And a lot of times I don't because, you know, I, I work a full-time job. I'm, I'm pretty busy. But I will make it a point to go down in the comments and engage with you guys uh, for this video. So let's begin. I have some uh, cool things I want to share with you guys about creating success. So I have six things we're going to go over. All right? Six. And... Uh, these are actually, I said five here. It's actually six, all right? Six mindsets of highly successful people. Number six is successful people are rule breakers, all right? They are rule breakers. Here's the deal, you guys. Rules are created to be followed. And the, the people who create rules usually do this for in the interest of you, the interest of the rule follower, and the reason that most time, most of the times you have rules are because if you break these rules, something will impact you in a negative way. Now, here's what I want you to understand about creating success and entrepreneurship is the way that technology has evolved, the rules that have been set in place no longer apply. They no longer apply. And this if we go back to the traditional way to create success in your life, right? The old school way, which is to, you know, get good grades in high school, from high school, start scouting out colleges. Where do you want to go to college? Get good, good grades in college, go to school for something that you want to do, and then go work that field for, you know, years and years and years, get a pension, and then that's how it goes, right? Well, if we're talking about entrepreneurship here, those rules of how to create success 
no longer apply. They do not apply. And the reason is because technology changed everything. I already said that. And things like YouTube are available to us. Things like creating a blog. These are tools that we can use that are available to us to create our own way. We break the mold. We break the rules of what used to be the traditional way that you make make it in life, okay? And this also goes with investing, right? You no longer have to just put money into a, a pension or put money into stocks and just hope that the market doesn't crash and at the end of your career, you get to live off of it, all right? That doesn't apply anymore. Now what can happen is you can literally create businesses using the internet and social media marketing or whatever, and you can create your own pension. You can create your own um, retirement fund by creating businesses that make millions of dollars, and then you can live off that when you want to retire. And, and that's what people don't understand is rules don't apply anymore. You can break them. And so as an example, my personal goals for my retirement is in the next five to 10 years, work my butt off in growing businesses, make millions of dollars, and anything I do beyond that point in my life, I do it because I want to, not because I have to. And, and I'm not bragging or boasting, but just to tell you guys how real this is, even for me, this year alone, I'm going to make over half a million dollars. And I want you to really think about that because I've been doing that on YouTube. I created a YouTube channel here um, and I, I started this business about three years ago. And so it hasn't taken me that long to really put up some big numbers that can change my life. And I only... Uh, project my business to grow even more. So again, I'm nobody special. I'm someone who made a decision. I broke the freaking rules because I saw another way. I understood that those rules, they don't apply anymore. Okay. So successful people understand that you can break the rules. All right. That's number six. Number five, strive for growth, not perfection. Strive for growth, not perfection. This is one thing that holds so many people back. And honestly, when I first started my business, it held me back because I wanted everything to be perfect. I, I did get started in my business, but I, my action I was taking to grow my business, it was so minimal. I wasn't taking enough action in my business to grow it because honestly, I, I knew I wasn't perfect. I knew I, I wasn't that great. And I wanted to be perfect. That's not reality, you guys. If you look at successful people and the way that they think, they understand that perfection is not even an option. But what do they do? They strive for growth. They know that if I can do better today than I did yesterday, that's a win. And you wake up every morning. This is exactly what successful people do, you guys. They wake up every morning knowing that today, all they need to do is grow from what happened yesterday. So stop trying to be perfect. If you say I'm a perfectionist and, and you don't understand what you're actually doing to your success is you're slowing it down because that means instead of taking the action, imperfect action that you need to be doing today, you're going to put it off till tomorrow because you know, well, it's not perfect. So I'm not going to do it right now. Right? So successful people strive for growth, not perfection. Number four, successful people think positively. They think positively. You guys, I can't tell you how many times I encounter negativity every single day, every single day. And I'm not telling you I'm perfect either because we're all susceptible to it. We're all human. But if you, if you take a look at what successful people do, they're always anticipating something positive. They're expecting something positive and they're thinking positive, right? And I'm not saying to just blatantly go out there and just uh, pretend that everything's magic and pretend everything is grand, is grand and everything is just fine and there's nothing wrong with anything, right? I'm not, I'm not saying to, to put the blinders on and pretend that bad stuff doesn't happen and that things go wrong. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am telling you is that if you look at successful people, they they anticipate winning. 
They anticipate winning. They think positively every single day. And I, I honestly believe that this has changed my life even before I really dove in as an entrepreneur. Because if I look back before I even became an entrepreneur, I had the thought and I started to think that I could become an, an entrepreneur and I could change my life. I could create a passive income. I could inspire millions of other people. It all started with a thought, a positive thought that I could do something and then I acted on that thought. Now, I could have thought in a negative way and say, I'm nobody special. Why? What makes me the person that could make an impact in other people's lives? What makes me so Im- important that I could go make it you know, a multiple six-figure income or make a multi-million dollar business? And I could have started to think that I'm not worthy. I don't have what it takes. I'm nobody special. But that didn't happen. Is I started to surround myself with other successful people people, other entrepreneurs who had already done what I wanted to do in my business. So it was all starting here in thinking in a positive light. All right. That's number four. Number three, successful people live in the moment, but think in the future. And I think that this is one of the most powerful, powerful points that I can share with you guys. Here it is. Every single day, every single moment of your life right now you need to be living and be present in that moment be present and when you start to 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 think about things and drift away in your presence and you start to slip out of being present I think one of the only reasons that you should do that is because now you're thinking about the future and you know obviously We do reflect on our past, but do not dwell on the negative things in your past. I think that we should be looking to our past for lessons learned. We learn from them and we move on. We cannot be dwelling on things in our past. We use our past to learn and to move forward. And every moment of every day, live in that moment. That is what successful people do. They learn how to live in the moment and they think in the future. They're already thinking about tomorrow. They're already thinking about next year. They're already thinking about five years from now, 10 years from now. Why? Because that's where your life is going. And a lot of people just live day to day and they wing it. They just wing it. They don't know about tomorrow. They don't know about next year. They don't plan for their future. They're not thinking about their future. And on top of that, when you, when you start thinking about your future, you start becoming more present today in how you can shift your future. And on that note, I want to I want to share something with you guys that I I have on my heart to really share with you guys because I think some people still really don't understand this this aspect of creating success, of changing your life, of creating a business that could truly give you freedom. So many people I see they they, they take action now. Maybe they'll they'll watch a YouTube video, they they'll buy a training, they'll buy a course, and they see a way that they could create a business that could change their life. And so they take action, they take action, they take action. They don't see results. They don't see results today. They don't see results tomorrow or this week. And then they give up, they quit, and they say it didn't work. You guys, let me me explain something to you that you have to understand. What you do today is not going to necessarily affect today. But what you do today and tomorrow will affect your next year. Or next year's tomorrow or in five years from now that will affect your life and so you have to think about this it's the same thing as going to the gym working out you guys you're not going to receive results same day you don't go to the gym lift weights or hit the treadmill and then just immediately go look in the treadmill and say i don't see results it doesn't work working out doesn't work i changed my nutrition and i i switched it up for a day and i today i ate healthier for the first time in my life and I don't see results. E- even sometimes for a week or a month, you guys, it takes time. Success in anything takes time. So be patient for it. Live in the moment today, understanding that you're working today for your tomorrow. That's what successful people do, all right? So let's move on to number two. Successful people think in abundance, not in lack. They think in abundance, not in lack. I remember thinking to myself, 
that there wasn't enough to go around. Honestly, I, I used to think this all the time in, in a lot of different things in life, that there wasn't enough to go around. And if you, if you understood how much is out there waiting for you, that you could create a multiple six-figure business, you could create multi-millions of dollars in, in your own business, that you could create happiness, you could create whatever you want because there's enough to go around. There's enough for you, my friend. There is enough for you and enough for you without taking it from other people. A lot of people think that. You have to, t- someone has to lose for you to win. Not true. 100% not true. If you, if you understood business, you would know that with every transaction, everyone can win. Everyone can win. But the base here, you guys, is that you need to be thinking in abundance because there's enough for you to win. There's enough for you to live the life that you want and then some. All right, there's more than enough. All right, stop thinking in lack. Let's go to number one. Number one, successful people are happy. All right, they are happy. And I'm going to share a, a resource with you guys, a book that I read a couple years ago that I, I highly recommend you guys read because it changed my perception of how I think about creating success and how I think about happiness and how I think about successful people. And it, I think it really made me understand really what it takes in, in that aspect of creating success. And that is a lot of people think that in order to create success or become rich or whatever, that when you do that and you create success in your life, you create money, whatever it may be, you guys, or relationships, you, you finally get the girl or the guy or whatever, then you'll be happy in your life, right? But it's scientifically proven, and I'm going to share a resource with you guys. It's scientifically proven that if you find your happiness now, that, excuse me, you guys, if you find your happiness now, that gives you an advantage over everyone else in anything you're doing, in anything you're doing. And so for, I'm going to give you guys a quick example of this. I want you to think about um, like a dating setup where you have a group of guys and, a, and a, a group of girls and they're all put in a room and everyone is there like speed dating or whatever, potentially looking for a mate to go out on a date with, right? And usually... The guy or the girl who's the most attractive, either way, it doesn't matter, the guy attracted to the girl or the girl attracted to the guy, the most attractive people in that room are the people who are happy. Why? First of all, because the people who aren't, there's desperation coming off of that, all right? And now I'm not going to, I'm not saying that I'm some uh, relationship guru here, you guys, but all I'm doing is sharing something with you that is true, all right? This is factual. It's scientifically proven, and I'm just giving you guys this as an example. But when you are happy first, and and people are happy, and they don't have that, you know, that desperation on them, they have an edge. They have an edge in their work. They have an, an edge in the dating world. They have an edge at business, at everything. Why? Because they're already happy. They're not relying on an external source for their happiness, which allows them to perform at a higher level. And I really want you to think about this. And this is scientifically proven. This is not even up for debate. And if you think something else or you want to chime in on this, you guys, like I said, I want this to be conversational. Drop a comment down below. But here's the book that I read a few years ago, you guys. It's called The Happiness Advantage by Sean Aker. And this is, it basically talks about you know, what I was just explaining to you about being happy first, which gives you an advantage over everyone else and the scientific, the the science behind it, how it's scientifically proven. And there's some crazy, um, crazy stories in here about the science behind it, you guys. And it's, this was so revealing to me and it really made me think about how happy am I? And if I'm not happy, why am I relying on an external source? And, you know, you call it what you will, but I don't know if it's coincidence that, you know, I I read this book and then within two and a half years created a multiple six figure business. And, and, you know, I I don't rely on my business to be happy. 
I don't. You could take everything away from me now. And I, I'm still happy. All right. And I think that being happy draws success to you. Look at all ha- look at all successful people. Are they happy because they're successful? Or did they create success in their life in whatever area? You know, you guys t- take your pick on who you're thinking about. Are they successful because they're happy? And the science shows that, you know, being happy creates more success in your life. So I hope that you guys got something out of this video. If you did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. It really does help the video out and I truly appreciate that. And of course, for those of you, if this is your first time here on Freedom Influencer, this is all about entrepreneurship, creating uh, an income for yourself, a passive income so you can create a life of freedom. So if you want more videos just like this, I invite you guys to go down, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so that way you stay updated. And of course, I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Like I said, I will make it a point to come back to this video and engage with you guys in the conversation down there. This is Nathan with Freedom Influencer and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.